This video is brought to you by SoccerLoco.com. Be sure to use coupon code SR4U1 at checkout to receive 10% off any order of $75 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a first look plus on feet video of the brand new Nike Hypervenom Fatal 2 in the wolf grey, total orange and black colorway. Now inside the box, all you get are the shoes themselves. They do not come with any extras. So let me get these guys out of the box really quickly and we'll take a closer look at the standard variation of the Fatal 2 takedown model. Now recently I made a video of the Fatal 2 DF or dynamic fit. That's essentially this exact shoe with a mid cut design, a dynamic fit collar. That shoe has a retail price of $170 US, whereas the standard version of the Fatal 2 right here retails for $40 less at $130. If you missed my video on the Fatal 2 DF, I'll leave an annotation on the screen. You can go ahead and check it out. And of course it will be making appearances throughout today's video as I kind of compare it to the standard version of the Fatal 2. So if you're interested in learning more about this particular shoe, we're gonna go over all the details in today's video. Please stick around. If you're interested in a pair of these for yourself, check out the review page on my website. It'll be the very first link down below in the description of this video. And on that page, you will find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes where you will be able to pick these guys up below their normal $130 retail price. So again, if you're interested in a pair for yourself, First link down below in the description, go ahead and check it out. And with that being said, let's get right into the review. To start things off, let's talk about the tech specs and what the Fatal 2 has to offer from a performance standpoint. Now, the one question I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask is whether or not the standard Fatal or the Fatal 2 DF is the better version to go for. Now the Fatal 2 DF obviously does feature the dynamic fit collar, which changes the fit of the shoe mainly in the heel, and of course takes away the tongue in place of some of this elasticated knitted material, whereas the standard Fatal 2 has a standard construction and a standard cut in the heel and ankle area. So uh, the Fatal 2 DF retails for $40 more, $170 versus the $130 that they charge for the standard Fatal 2. And as to whether or not this version is better than this version, that's really a matter of opinion and what you're looking for. If you absolutely must have the mid-cut design, then this is probably the version to go for. Whereas if you prefer a more standard soccer cleat construction, the standard uh, version of the Fatal 2 uh, will perform just as well. There's really no performance benefit to the mid-cut design of any of Nike's models, but I know a lot of people like how it looks, they like how it feels, and if you're one of those people, then yes, the Fatal 2 DF may be the better shoe to go for, but if you're just looking for the best value value overall. The upper, the sole plate and stud pattern is identical on both of these two shoes. So I would argue that if you don't need the collar, the better buy here is the standard version of the Fatal 2. So in terms of what you're getting for your $130 US, you get a Mirage synthetic upper with Flywire as a support system. So Flywire are these little cables that are in the actual synthetic itself. They run from the base of the sole into the lacing system on both the lateral and medial side. And they add a lot of structural rigidity to the upper itself. No issues with rollover here. It's very, very solid when you pull the laces tight and it just keeps your foot locked in place on the sole of the shoe. So when you make those quick movements and hard cuts, your foot's not sliding around, it stays in place and it makes for a nice responsive sensation. As far as the Mirage Synthetic is concerned, it's not the same as the Nike skin that you're gonna find on the higher end Finish and Phantom 2 models models despite looking very very similar it's a little bit thicker um, as you guys can see by the side profile right here and I would argue that it's a little bit softer and more flexible which can be viewed as a, a positive change in comparison to the high-end models depending on what you like the high-end Nike skin models definitely have more of kind of a rigid sensation to them um, it's very very responsive and the touch on the ball is actually very good if you want something that's thin, but not too thin. And that's kind of the same sensation you're getting here with uh, the Mirage Synthetic here on the Fatal. It's a lot different than what we got on the original Fatal model versus the Fatal 2, uh, but still pretty good. And if you're looking for a decent thin synthetic shoe um, at a price tag that is well below the $200 price point, the standard version of the Fatal 2 here is definitely pretty good. You have all the embossed kind of uh, crease marks in the upper uh, that act as flex grooves. They're supposed to add some texturing to the upper as well. Not something you really notice while you're wearing the shoe. And for the most part, the finish is pretty smooth. Um, so very minimal extra amounts of grip on the ball. No ACC, um, which is something you're only gonna find on the finish and top end Phantom 2 models. Um, Off-centered lacing system. Um, you do have a traditional tongue construction here, unlike the finish, which is a one-piece construction for the upper. 
Um, and other than that, pretty standard hypervenom construction. This is probably the closest thing to the original hypervenom Phantom um, out of all the new models, even though the upper is totally different and the feel because of the upper being totally different really just changes the dynamic of this shoe in general. You have the standard hypervenom uh, cut in the heel area, internal plastic heel counter, a smooth synthetic leather liner. I'll give you guys a quick look at the insole mesh liner on top, your hypervenom logo right there. And then it's just a standard kind of black ortholite type of material. The same insole you're gonna find on the high-end models as well. Uh, definitely nothing special, but it does get the job done as far as underfoot cushioning is concerned. Moving on to the sole plate and stud pattern. This is, again, the same as what you're gonna find on the high-end models, minus some aesthetic differences, obviously with the Phantom that does have that extra graphic printed on top, which does not impact the performance, by the way. You have a glass nylon sole plate here that's noticeably more flexible than what we got on the previous generation Phantom and Fatal models, which is something that I really appreciate. You have the P-back stud plate on top, which maintains that flexibility. You of course have the split toe design, which is more of a gimmicky feature as opposed to something that you're actually going to notice while wearing the shoes. And then of course, the same Hypervenom stud pattern remains unchanged. And as far as performance is concerned, it works really, really good. If you like something uh, like the Mercurials, it has a very similar layout, but because the studs are conical in shape as opposed to bladed, you get a good amount of bite when put pushing off, but still plenty of freedom to twist and turn when your foot is actually planted. So um, very good stud pattern, one of my personal favorite from Nike, and it definitely does get the job done as far as traction is concerned on firm natural grass plane surfaces. So that's pretty much it as far as tech specs and what you should know about the standard version of the Fatal 2, arguably a little bit less exciting than the Fatal 2 ZF, but if you're looking for the best bang for your buck and you don't really need the mid-cut design or necessarily want the mid-cut design of the Phantom 2 or Fatal 2 DF, then the standard version of the Fatal 2, uh, like I said, is definitely the better value. In terms of weight, I thought we'd compare the weight of the standard Fatal 2 to that of the Fatal 2 DF to see if there's any significant difference. So keep in mind, these are both in brand new condition and both the exact same size 9 US. We're going to start off with the DF, throw it on the scale, and you can see that they weigh in at 7.45 ounces, the equivalent of 211 grams. So relatively lightweight as far as takedown models go, even though these don't really have a takedown model price. So we'll change the unit on the scale back to ounces, pull these off and throw on the standard version of the Fatal 2, and you can see that they weigh in at 6.8 ounces. So you're talking about almost a 0.7 ounce weight difference between the two, the equivalent of 192 grams. So the weight difference is somewhat noticeable um, in hand when the shoes are on your feet. Um, the difference in weight is still quite minimal in my opinion. So if you are trying to decide between either of these two shoes, I don't think that weight should really be the deciding factor. Again, it's really about what type of feel that you're looking for. If you really like that mid-cut design, if you're intrigued by it and you just wanna try it out, the Phantom, uh, the Fatal 2 DF is your cheapest, is the cheapest way of doing so. Whereas if you just want good performance from a shoe that's well below the $200 price point, the standard version of the Fatal 2 is just as good of a purchase, if not a better value overall. Very quickly, I just wanted to touch on the visuals of the Fatal 2. I would say if you're comparing it to other models within the line, it looks like the Felon and it does look like the higher end finish model, but obviously without the one piece construction to the upper. That said, from a distance, it'd be very hard to tell them apart. You have the wolf gray upper here with that total orange graphic on both the lateral and medial side with the black crackle pattern, probably the most controversial aspect of the new Hypervenom design in general. I personally don't mind how it looks, but I know a lot of people aren't such big fans. Gray laces, an orange Nike swoosh on the front with um, a black outline, solid black Nike swoosh at the heel, and of course the sole plate is solid orange in color, black Nike swoosh right there in the middle, and the studs are all clear in color, which gives them a fairly premium vibe. These definitely don't come across as cheap from a visual standpoint, and they don't feel cheap on your feet either, which is, I think what a lot of people are looking for when it comes to a takedown model that still isn't super cheap, uh, but you want some performance qualities out of it. And I think that's exactly what you get here with the Fatal 2. It's a really good value and honestly could pass as a higher end shoe. If you don't have the money for the finish, the Phantom 2 or even the Fatal 2 DF, 
the Fatal, the standard version of the Fatal 2, I should say, is, like I said, a really good pickup, and you're not going to be disappointed with the final product. All right, so here is a look at the Fatal 2s on feet. On my left foot, I have the stock gray laces that come with the shoes, and on my right foot, I have a pair of premium orange dots SR4U replacement laces. If you're interested in a pair of replacement laces for yourself, check out the website sr4ulaces.com. You'll find a direct link to that website down below in the description of this video. Now, in terms of how these things fit and feel on feet, they're very similar to the rest of the Hypervenom models above it. It's got the same shape. It's got the same general feel on feet. You will notice though that these look to be narrower, at least on my feet. And what I found with this particular model versus uh, the Fatal 2 DF, the finish as well as the Phantom 2, is that the sides of the shoe don't seem to come up quite as high, which leads for more of a gap between the two sides through the middle of the shoe where the tongue is positioned. They're not actually narrow. They don't actually feel any narrower but they do look a little bit narrower as far as what type of width this shoe is best suited for. Um, it's going to be suitable for most foot types. As long as you don't have excessively wide feet, you shouldn't have any issues here. But again, just like all the other high-end uh, Hypervenom models, the Fatal 2 DF, the Phantom 2, or the Finish, you're really not going to get much stretch out of this shoe. The Flywire cables are not going to give at all. So the way they fit from right out of the box is the way they're going to fit for their entire lifespan. Overall, though, they fit pretty comfortably. I expect them to soften up a little bit. Um, after some wear time, um, which is kind of to be expected with any kind of thin synthetic soccer shoe. And as far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing my usual size 9 US here, and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair of these for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size in order to achieve the best possible fit. All right, guys, this is my overview of the new Hypervenom Fatal 2 from Nike. This shoe is just overall a really, really good value. If you're looking for something that's lightweight, fits really well, is going to be very responsive, and is just going to offer a nice premium barefoot feel for the ball. They're a little bit thicker than what you're going to get from the Mercurial line, but if you were on a bit of a budget and you want something that's high quality and thin synthetic, this is a great alternative to the Mercurial Veloce 2 if you're looking for something a little bit different than what that shoe has to offer. So, of course, I will be following up with more content on the Fatal 2 in the near future, so look out for videos very, very soon. In the meantime, if you guys do want to check out the review page on my website, that'll be the very first link down below in the description of this video. You will find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes where you will be able to pick these guys up below their normal 130 $30 retail price. So again, if you're interested in a pair for yourself, first link down below in the description, go ahead and check it out. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. If you do have any questions at all regarding the Fatal 2, leave them down below in the comment section. I definitely will get an answer out to you. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.